Hello folks. Hey, the old fisherman just got home from uh, fishing and we had a pretty good day, uh, but it wasn't a great day, but we caught a few stripers. I'm going to take you on a, a highlight and uh, showing you uh, how I caught those stripers. And uh, yesterday I caught a few bass over at Monticello. We're going to have highlight clips and now I'm fixing to take Logan on a golf cart ride. And, uh, and right there he is. When I say golf cart ride, he turns his head. See that? We're going out, and I'm going to show you what he does with Doodle, his buddy down the street, when we drive up Doodle's house. But right now, we're going on a golf cart ride with Logan. And he I've shown this once before, but he, he loves it. Look at him. He's gone. He's heading to the golf cart. Oh, he's got sidetracked with a squirrel. Look at him after that squirrel. Run him up the tree. Tree the squirrel. See ya? He treed the squirrel. That dog loves squirrel running and golf cart riding and eating fish. That's what he likes the best. We got trash all over our yard. We had a lot of wind yesterday. We got to do some yard work, but Logan's going on his golf cart ride right now before we do yard work. Hey, appreciate y'all being with me. I'm going to take you on uh, Logan's golf cart little spin. Then we're going to have uh, some clips of uh, highlights of a couple of days. We hadn't caught a lot of fish, but we caught some nice bass, a couple of them, and we caught some nice stripers. Nothing huge, but I'm, uh, I'm making a video to show you really what Logan does on his golf cart ride when he sees his buddy Doodle, which is a uh, Labadoodle, and his name is actually Doodle. It's a Labadoodle down the road about a mile and we're going to go visit Mr. Doodle, me and Logan. Hey, he's done tore up my seat. My golf cart looks terrible, but I, I could put another seat on him and he'd tear it up. Logan, you want to go see Doodle? Huh? You want to go see Doodle? Let's go see Doodle. What you think? You love Doodle? You like to go see Doodle? You ready to go on a ride? Look at that head. Ain't he pretty dog? Logan's a mess. Logan's a show dog, but I, I got him cut. Uh, I don't have his beard on him like it should be. Miss Deborah would probably whip me for that. But he got knots, and instead of brushing it out, I cut it off some of it. But he used to have a pretty beard at one time. Man, it's kind of like his daddy's. He got a straggly beard. But he is looking at my foot. See him? He's looking at my foot. What he's doing. And, uh, hey, let's see what we can do on a golf cart ride with me and old Logan. We got leaves all over the yard. We ought to be cutting leaves. And where are we going? We're going to take Logan on his ride or he's going to be mad. I'm telling you. Logan's got to have his ride. Now I got him so spoiled, he knows every day he's going to get his ride. And I can't wait to show y'all what he does now when I see him do it. He jumps off the golf cart and up and down the fence until he gets tired and he jumps back on. That's what he does. Logan, the wonder dog, and the old fisherman. Going on a ride. Ain't nothing like it. We do this every day. We got us a windshield put on a golf cart. My son gave it to me for Christmas. We got a rear view mirror. Hey, we got everything we need. Me and Logan. And he loves it. He loves his rides, man. Yeah. And he's mild in it. He's mild in it. No doubt. Lord have mercy, does he love this golf cart ride? Something so simple, so great to him. He's something, ain't he?
Everybody can hear us coming. We can't sneak up on nobody. Oh, Lord. Got about a half mile to go before we get to uh, Doodle's house. Sometimes Doodle's not out, but when we ride by and uh, Doodle's in the house, he barks. Uh oh, there's Doodle's daddy right there. That means he ain't gonna get to go out. Here I am gonna do a video going to see Doodle, and y'all ain't there. Doodle ain't home right now. Let's get him. Let's get him. Y'all see, that's Doodle's daddy's right there. I'll be, I'll be right back there. We're going to ride around, and I want to have, I'm going to have a video on YouTube showing what they do on that fence. All right. All right. That's All right. Good deal. <laughs> Doodle's going to get a haircut. So they're going to get him. He's pretty it all up, Lodi. <laughs> Folks, look at that tail. Logan. He loves the golf cart ride. That little tail going, that little tail's going all the time. Look at it. That Logan loves it. Got it. This is what Logan's seeing. Got a new windshield and all. He's loving this. They're going to get Doodle. Doodle got a haircut and a, and a, and a bath today. And when they come back, we're going to go to Doodle's house. Uh, and see what uh i'm gonna get to show y'all what these crazy dogs do they love each other but now they ain't never been nose to nose they just had a fence in between them all the time but uh i think they're just playing but we're gonna show you what they do a logan the, <laughs> the long-haired schnauzer you a good boy yep him good boy daddy you good boy He's a good boy, it's Funkin'. I call him Funkin' T. So he's got so many names. The big, huge load. Uh, Funkin' C. Logan. He comes all up when he wants to. If you don't want to come, you let him out. He's got a, a scent of a squirrel. He ain't coming till he's done smelling the ground. That's Logan. All right, we're sitting here waiting for Doodle to come home. Now, ain't that something? We're waiting for Doodle to come home. When I put my hand on Logan, he goes to barking. Watch him. When I pet him, he likes it. He likes it. He ready to ride. Yeah, he ready to ride. He ready to ride, Daddy. Yeah, he ready to ride. That dog likes to ride. Yes, he does. He likes to ride. He likes to ride. Yeah, he does. He likes to ride. He got a good boy. He got a good boy. Yeah. He's a good boy, Daddy. Yeah. He's spoiled rotten, y'all. He's spoiled rotten. Yeah, right, Lou. Yep, that's right. All rotten. Yeah. You got to love him. He's soft. He's like soft as cotton. Yeah, he's soft as cotton. He's a good boy. He got a boy. He got a boy, Daddy. Ever so often at night, he'll get up in the bed with me and check on me and make sure I'm still breathing. All right, folks. We're getting close to Doodle's house. They back. Doodle got a haircut. He ought to be pretty up for this little episode. Logan and Doodle. Uh, let's hope. Tilt the camera a little bit. Logan in the picture. When he gets down this curve, he starts looking for Doodle. Well, what, what Logan's going to do... You'll, tell, you'll see he'll start looking after they get around the curve. He's gonna jump off, and they're gonna run each other up and down this fence line, is what they do. It's funny as the devil, but uh, I'm gonna give y'all a shot of this. Doodle and Logan, you look at Logan, now he's getting ready, he's looking. Logan's looking, he knows that this is Doodle's house. He knows. It. And we get down here, he will jump off this golf course. So I got to, I got to, Logan, don't you jump. Anyhow. Uh oh, he ain't out yet. 
He's backing up. He's backing up. Doodle's backing up. What we're gonna do is go down to the end and turn around. We're gonna go to the end and turn around and they'll let him out. Then we'll pull in. There he comes. He's all pretty up now. I hear him. Don't you jump off, Logan. Don't you jump off. Huh? Daniel's doodle, he just got home. Hey, doodle! Here he comes. Here he comes. Watch this. Whoa! Here he comes. Look at that. Let it go again. They love each other. Them two. Them two loves each other. Look at that. Huh? Logan and Doodle. Ain't that Doodle pretty? Doodle got him a haircut. Hey, Doodle. Got a haircut. That's what they do every day. They love each other. All right. We're going to get back on the golf cart. Get, come on. Get back up there. Jump up there. Hey. How about that, folks? Logan and Doodle on their daily little run. <laughs> Logan's tired. He, he ain't used all that exercise. <laughs> Go get off again. One more time. Go get him. load get back on him come on <laughs> come on load come on you're gonna pass out get back on him come on get back on him get up here get up here get up here see so tight he can't even go come on you out of shape get up here get up here good boy bye doodle Say bye, Doodle. Be a good boy, Doodle. You're tired too. They're both tired. Hey, folks, that's what I'm talking about right there. Hey, folks, we're going to take you on a. Uh oh, Doodle's still he barking. We're going to take you on a fishing trip. Lake Monticello, and then Lake. Uh, first, we're going to Lake Murray, and then we're going to end it up Lake Monticello, a couple highlight trips. Thanks for being with me on another episode of Love and Life with the old fisherman and today. Logan, the wonder dog. Logan, you want to tell the camera bye? Logan's tired. Hey, let's go fishing. Well, good morning, folks. Hey, we got some gulls around us. I believe we got some fish in here. I believe we got fish in here. We fixing to catch some stripers and some perch. See how the gulls are diving? Hey, I think we got fish in here. There he is already. Hey, we done already got, oh! Broke off his striper. Broke off, I think. Oh God, what a way to start. It broke off already. Well, let's throw down with a two rig now. We already have a striper on. They got all up under us. We got them schooling in here. The first jerk, I had one big one on. He broke off. I don't know why, but they fish all up under me. My goodness, we have 26 foot of water. We fish everywhere. See, we can get another to bite it. They all in here. We then got it in the mother load. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my, there he goes. The two rig might be better. Be less chance of breaking off. There goes another. I think we got two of them now. Hey, we on the mother load in here. Fish all over the fish finder. My goodness. I mean fish all over the fish finder. Look at him. Look at that fish finder. Oh my goodness. Huh? What? Oh my goodness. Huh? Lord have mercy. This is a nice one. Stripers are in here. We're going to lay it to him. Hey, he's a good one, too. He's a good one. Come in here, boy. Come in here, boy. Come in here, boy. Look at that. Striper tonight. Striper tonight. 
come in here. What? Y'all see him? Had a whole school of runners. Broke the first one off. I can't believe that. Now I got to get this sucker off. Hey, yeah. Y'all see him? Hey, he's undersized. We got to throw him back. We're going to have some fun. Drop back down. Now they're gone. See the fish found? They're gone. Whole school of them come right up under us. Here. All right, let's get back out here. There they are again. See them on? Oh, you can't see. I got fish finder to do one, but I got them right up under me. They all in here. We're going to lay it to them. We're going to lay it to them. We're going to come to the honey hole. They everywhere. My goodness. They everywhere. I'll show it to you again. Look at that fish finder. They all in the, they all in the, I'm telling you. They all in the, we done come to the right place. Didn't get one that time though. They in here. Bunch of them. They scattered, but they ain't hitting now. They hit, got him. Finally got a nudge. There he goes. Oh my. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my. There he goes. There he goes. This ain't no problem is they're all on the side. But we can have a good time catching them. Hey, we'll get some keepers. That's a nice one, but they ain't, they ain't big enough. Oh my. They ain't big enough. They pull, but they ain't big enough. They got to be 21 inches. I got a ruler in here. I don't really, a lot of times I don't even need a ruler. I, uh, I'm i used to measuring these fish out pretty well close. I don't know, this one might be close. Come in here, boy. Come in here, boy. Come in here to the other fish. Yeah, that, 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 that's 21 inches. We're going to measure him. Calm down. Hooker. Oh, he tore my jig up. See that? Hey, that's pretty good enough. Let's measure. Let me measure right quick. Now, I got it across my, my ice chest. Oh, yeah. That's 21. You can put him in the box. All right, folks. All right. Pulled in another little spot. Got retired. Got the three rig back on. Let's see what we can do in here. 40 foot of water. See if we can catch some fish in here. See you? Got him. Got him. I believe we got some perch in here. I don't know. There might be striper. Ah, that's striper. That's a striper. Oh my goodness. That's a striper. Several of them. Oh my. Huh? Oh my. Several of them. Going the other way. Hey, day. He's going the other way. Uh, Oh Lord, I think my drag's too loose. I don't know, I don't want to tighten it up too much. That joke's pulling now, we got more than one. Uh, I believe, I believe we got two. We got the three rig back tied, oh they'll probably break it off again. Hey, they these stripers. These stripers, what? Oh yeah, these are stripers, that's a good one too. What? Oh, it, oh it's two. It's either a good one or it's two. One of the two. Huh? These jokers, you just don't pull these suckers in quick. You have, on a spinning ride, you have got to take your time, son. If you don't take your time, you won't get them. Look at that. Hey, day. Wear me out. Got to, if it ain't my one, it's got to be a keeper. I don't know. Oh, I think one just got off. I think I had two, I think one just got off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's a keeper, all right. Oh Lord. Ain't got the one. He's definitely a keeper. And no doubt about that one. Good one. What? He's a good one. He hit the blue jig, you know? He hit the blue jig. Look at that. Look at that. 
Hey, look at that. Look at that. Huh, that's a good one. That, my friend, is a good 21. Look at the size of that one. Put him in the drum. We ain't got to measure that one. I can tell you that right now. About 24 inches. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. But look at him. He is a blue jeep. The two and a half inch swimming up. By who? Charlie Brewer. All right, folks, we're going to move to the other side of the lake and uh, on the perch hole. Let's see if we can catch a couple perch. Oh, there he is, first jerk. Oh, my goodness, look at that. What? Darn striker. Oh, one broke off. Oh, my, one broke off. I can tell you that right now. Doggone stripers, they ain't perch. Oh, my. What? <clears throat> It's stacked in there like stove wood, though, I can tell you that. But I bet you we ain't got but two of them jigs left. I bet you money. I think one broke off. Yep. Another one broke off. Gum it. That 12-pound test line just will not hold these stripers. Just will not hold them. I'm tired of tying. Y'all see him? See that? That's what I'm talking about right Uh-oh. Camera. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go measure him, but I think we got to throw him back. Oh, yeah, he got to go back. That's some good eating going back right there, folks. Well, I got two jigs again. I can't keep three on there to save my life. Now we got to retie. Get right back with y'all. Folks, we, we moved down a little bit. We got another known. I think this might be a perch. I don't know. Might be a striper. I don't know something. It's a doggone striper. Another striper. <clears throat> he stuck it, but he's a little. He's a little. There he goes. There he goes. Throw him back. <sighs> he's bleeding, but I got to throw him back. He's on the side. Focus. We pull over here on a point. Go over and kind of circle it around. We got a nice striper on him, shallow. Y'all see it? He's nice. Let's measure. Make sure. Oh yeah, he'll make it. Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman's back with you. It's cold as the devil. We in 58 foot of water back in a creek and uh, in a ditch. And see, if we're gonna catch. See, if we can catch us a a white perch or a bass or something back in here. <coughs> um, it's cold. I got back in here because a little calm back in here. And we're going to start down at this end of the lake and work back up the lake. We're going to struggle out here till we find something. Appreciate y'all being with me on another episode of Love and Life. And, and uh, they ain't looking good so far. Let me see what we got here. Let's look at our jigs. We got the three rig on. I got a 10-pound test uh, power pole braid on my reel. We got a uh, walleye... Uh, I car, excuse me, rod. It's a, the rod is a UF uh, seven eight nine three seven. UF seven eight nine three seven. That's a six foot six fast action. And we got twelve pound floral carbon between our jigs. We got a blue double action swimming minnow and chartreuse. 
So we got a whirl of bee in the middle, and then we got a uh, uh, inch and a half purple and chartreuse at the bottom. Let's see if we can find some fish. We ain't caught no fish in a long time, not a lot. Ever since it got warm, catch a few here and a few there. I'm hoping it might be too quick for them to adapt over from this, this cold front. It's a big drop. But I'm thinking they ought to be pushed down deep. But we got high water right here this morning too. So you never know. You don't really know. You just got to keep. Somebody asked me how do I find new places. Well, I watch birds. I, I change depths till I get a bite. And then I start zeroing in on that pattern of what depth that was and where it was at. It's just the same thing. It's a different thing every day. I don't go to the same places over and over and over unless it's crappy brush. I mean, I might go to the same area, but that ain't no guarantee of where they're going to be on that area. So, folks, you got to hunt for them. I can't just say, well, you go over there, such and such place, and they'll be there. That ain't the case. Every day I got to adapt to, to make it happen. It ain't that easy. Y'all was thinking way too easy. I make it look easy. But you got to find these fish, and then you got to make them bite. That is the challenge. Right now, I'm seeing some bass down there. I ain't had a bite yet, but there's bass down there, 56 foot of water. I see about three or four different large hooks. They're either bass or big catfish. One or two. So far, I had a bite. That's not good. That means they ain't in here, or they ain't feeding in here. Maybe we got to go out on the points. We got to try the ditch first. They don't bite the ditch we got on the main point. Until we find, get a pattern, get a bite. You got to get that bite. That first bite's important. There you are. There you are. There you are. Real slow. Had to go real slow. Get it. And that might be what we have to do today because it is cold, cold conditions. That's a nice fish right there. That might be a large mine already. Look at that, large mouth bass, first one of the day. Get him in the boat, look at that. Got him on that purple G, real slow. Y'all see it? Huh, y'all see it? Look at that, huh? Large mouth bass. Hey, how about that folks, let's let him go. I'm gonna let him go today. Fellas on my hind about putting him in this drum, where they're finding the drum for a while. But, uh, <sighs> we're gonna let him go today. Let's let him go. I bring them up slow where they'll be fine to go back in this deep water, folks. Folks. Oh, Lord. Folks, I just dropped on a brush pile. I went over a brush and I see all kind of fish down there. And I threw the crappy jig down there. I believe we got a bass. Gonna get in the brush. What he's gonna do? He's a good one. He's a good one! Oh, Lord, if I can keep him out in the brush. I believe it's bass down there. I thought I seen an old crappy brush I went over. I see a lot of fish on it. I'm thinking they're probably bass. This is definitely bass. This is definitely a bass. I ain't believing this. Y'all bear with me. Complete ignorance. We got a big old bass trying to spit it out. And it's a bunch of them in that brush. There's an old tree down there. And there were fish all in there. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my. What? I went over it. I throwed it on spot lock. Trolling motor was down. And it's holding me on spot. And we got a jumbo magnum. I don't know what, what he is. But he's a slab. He's got to be a bass. When I first hooked him, I thought he was a crappy. He ain't no way there's no crappy. Might be a smallmouth. I'll tell you one thing, that's a pulling fool. He ain't jumped yet though, that's the thing. He ain't jumped yet. I believe it's a bass, definitely a bass. I believe it's two bass. We got two bass on folks. Oh my, we got two bass again. Got the small one. Oh my gosh, double crappy jigs and two bass at one time. Do y'all see that, huh? The old fisherman something, man. My goodness, they on a brush out there. And I mean, they all over the place. What? No wonder that joker's fucking crazy. It was two of them. You gotta love that. Two big old slab bass at one time. What? Huh? 
Oh my. Oh my. I ain't throwing these back right yet. Cause I am going to throw back on that brush with these doggone crabbages. We had a Bobby Garland on and a, and a Charlie Brewer. Well, we caught one on each. The crappy jigs now. Crappy jigs. There's one of them. Ain't that pretty? And they all down there too. The whole brush down there full of them. I thought it was crappy. That's the reason I stopped. And by, behold, a doggone bass. A whole school of them down there. A whole school of them. Can you find my dad? Uh, ain't that something? Two at a time at the same time. What? I can't get the hook out. That joking hook is in there. He wasn't coming out. Look at that. Huh? Look at that, folks. Uh, Charlie Brewer. You can't be. I don't care where you go. A dog on Charlie Brewer G. Y'all see it? What? Three pound, two and a half. What? Three pound.